everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. This is episode 18. Last time, it was a very dark time for the Hawk family. Leandra was taken as we got a follow-up to the prime suspect and the serial killer questline, essentially. Um, and there was necromancy involved, and it was just grim. Leandra is gone. And then we had even more blood magic adventures with, uh, with Meryl and we had the whole, um, underground mage thing with Anders and vengeance is being very vengeful and it's just all a whole mess of things to do all at, all at once. So it's a pretty big episode in that regard. Uh, and we're going to head on out as we, um, have a look at, there's an inside job side quest. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to do an inside job. Let's take some people with us. Um, so we're going to head to Hightown, and then we will be able to proceed with the main quests of following the Kune. So let's do that. We still have the Forbidden Knowledge quest, which is to destroy the evil tomes. So there may be a tome or two that we've yet to find. Freed a group of slaves. Would-be slaves. They weren't slaves yet. Still, you did the right thing. Many I would turn a blind eye. Don't read too much into it, all right? It just seemed a good idea at the time. Okay. Uh, we have not... Um, lost my train of thought there. Thanks, Fenris. Your dialogue has interrupted my train of thought. I cannot remember for the life of me what I was just talking about. Something, something, dark day for mage kind. Sorry, that thought's gone. <laughs> um, God, what was I talking about? Alas, let's talk to Hubert. Are you ready to question Sabine? Let's go. Bring Sabine back to my place. Excellent idea. I will get him now. Okay. Here is the dung pile I caught leaking next week's shipment schedule. He won't tell me who he's working with. Who else has been screwing <clears throat> me over? Tell me, <laughs> you ratting mongrel. He can't talk with a mouthful of broken teeth. Please, Miss Sir, help me. I knew you since you was young and lothering. I knew your mum's family and your pop. Mike, you got him rest. Pathetic. <laughs> I leave this bastard in your capable hands. Get me when he's ready to talk. Thank you, Miss Sir. Us lothering folk should stick together. Sorry, mate. I, <laughs> I don't really... I don't really remember you, mate. It's been, it's been a few years. What made you betray your employer? Before the blight, my family had a good life in Lothering. Clean home, fertile land, friends, and cook while we lived in a hovel. People spit on us, and some days we went hungry. Trust me, things could be worse. Tell me how to stop the next ambush. As soon as I tell Hubert what he wants to know, he'll kill me or throw me in prison. My life's not worth much, but my family. I only wanted to give my wife and son a better life. Hubert's first love is gold. You must have some squirreled away. I'll tuck some coin away for the future. But if it buys me a future out of prison, Hubert can have it. Well, how was that resolved? No more money for you. This is Lily of the Coterie. Given the importance of stopping the cargo robberies, I have enlisted a consultant. Consultant? Sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night. <laughs> well, Doug, are you ready to bark now? There's an ambush planned tonight at Dietrich Crossing. Tonight? That leaves you barely enough time to intercept them. You had best leave immediately. We'll protect your precious shipment, but make sure you have the Coterie's payment. Want me to deal with this runt? 
Free of charge. I'll drop him in a ditch on our way out. Yes, take him. With my blessing. I assume my partner will not object. Yeah, interesting with like, we're letting him go, crossed fingers. Sabine will pay you back if you let him go. Oh, really? I'm more inclined to beat the coin out of this sheep's swallop and then kill him. He's nothing, you bear. Take his offer and cut him loose so we can get back to business. Fine. Get me your ill-gotten coin before I change my mind. Oh, thank you, Miss Hayes. I know I don't deserve it, but thank you. We're wasting time. If you find naught but corpses at the ambush, it won't be my fault. Okay, mate. Chill out. We're too late for your boys, but we'll make the rotters pay. Oh. So there are just corpses. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Was it gonna be was it gonna be corpses regardless? I mean we did not really spend that much longer in that room than we would have if we were killing him. Probably would have been the same amount of time. Probably would have been more time having to actually go through the trouble to kill him instead of just letting him go. So That was almost too easy. That's what you just said. Wait. I recognize that lout. Who is he? He's in the coterie. One of that damned fool Brecker's men. Oh. Okay. So your organization is behind this? We got explicit orders not to. Hubert's been good on his payments. If Brecker ordered this... The rest of his life will be very short and painful. Mm. Tell me about this man. He operates out of the south side. Always had more balls than sense. His lackeys are loyal. Brecker must be involved. Let's pay Brecker a social call. We've got a lot to talk about. I've got to be sure first. I know who to lean on to get answers. Find me in the Undercity. Find me in the Undercity. Okay. Interesting. There's more to this than meets the eye. Which seems pretty typical. Let's go to the Undercity. Okay. This one time, I was sailing to Lemeren, and there was a fight between two of my men. It was over a dice game, or the last piece of toast or something. Sailors, they're touchy about their toast. Is this going anywhere? It will if you let me finish. So, there's a knife fight, and Jim ends up with a broken off blade stuck in his shoulder. It's very deep in there, and we're out at sea at least a week from the nearest port. If you were there, you could have reached in and plucked that blade right from his flesh. That's your whole point? Pretty much. Really focusing on the whole fist through the person thing. <laughs> I don't think that would have helped. Why is this person dead? Oh, you, okay. Sheesh. Am I being framed? I'm being framed. Don't let them get away. I'm being framed. Amazing. You coterie. One of Lily's friends. Lily was one of ours. She was working for you, and now she's dead. You get one chance. Did you kill her? <laughs> Lily didn't die by my hand. Someone else did this. Explain yourself. Present minor misunderstandings aside, I believe our purposes are the same. One of the scum that attacked my caravans worked for someone in the coterie named Brecker. Lily said she'd look into it. I think Brecker had her killed. Brecker? Hmm. If you're lying, I'll find you. Men, we have to get to the bottom of this. Now. 
and then all of these people proceeded to also get killed. Okay, find the hideout. Mm, classic walking in to a dead body. Okay, look at this hideaway. The leases of Javaris Tintop are up for grabs. <laughs> you luck finding them killers then. It's just the one killer actually. New luck finding them swans then. Get them! Like ah, Isabella! <laughs> wait! Wait! Just hold on one second. Please. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Please. Isabella. Do 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 do. Oh, we've got mages. We've got coterie alchemists. Get them! Mike, there we go. Legendary. Ooh. Is legendary... I guess for legendary is reaching level 20. Is that the maximum, though, I wonder? Or can we go... Can we get much higher? Um... Oh. I've really just focused on the two trees for my, for my hawk boy. And then... This. <laughs> Let's see. And then we put one point to Battle Master, it looks like. But I think that was the specialization point, and then one point into Berserker. And then we didn't do anything with them. Let's do this one. Max out on the Reaver Tree. Hello? Oh. These look like coteries. Oh, there's Brecker in his hideout. Hello? You must be Brecker. And you're that lice covered refugee. Okay. You'd better leave the bone pit shipments alone. Understand? You're making demands of me. You own half a stake in a mine and you think you're somebody, huh? Some Ferelden's don't have the courtesy of knowing when to bloody die. All right, mate. That's a bit uncalled for. Ah, oh, but I guess we could just kill you all. Why do people mess with the guy with the big ass sword with the big ass handle? Like they're not going to get cleaved wide open. Have you seen this handle? The handle is as big as the sword. Isabella just totally massacred Brecker and almost died as a result. The things that she does for me. Very proud of her. Would you like to heal? Well done, babe. Those jeweler skills coming in handy, huh? Isabella, what have you done on the stairs? It's not over yet. Return to Hubert with news of Brecker's death. You know, I might be able to give you a hand. Avarian war boots. Do it, bud. I dare you. Easy as pie. Nice. Superior battle axe. Varric level up. Let's hit level 20. It's the maximum cunning, probably like, to, I think, is it 40 or would it be 50? That's the last one. Some more health. And then we're going to do 
this. Yo. Lovely. Wonder if we'll see that that woman again or not. Inside job. Oh, hang on. There's some. Uh, there's a, a study of the fifth blight, volume two. Updated codex entries lying around places. The warden sought Ar Lehman, uncle of the late King Caelan, in the hopes of mustering troops from the Ferelden nobility. Upon arriving in Redcliffe, they learned that the Arl had fallen ill and was near death. His knights had gone in pursuit of the fabled Ashes of Andraste, Eamon's only hope for a cure, and the village surrounding the keep was beset by a host of animated corpses. The wardens found and stopped the demon behind the undead before joining the search for Eamon's cure. I was there! I found the thieves responsible for the cargo theft. I put them out of business. Excellent. With that resolved, the mine's profits will soar. For now, partner, please be sure to visit our workers occasionally. You have a knack for keeping them happy. Okay. Nice. Um, five sovereigns for that one. Quest completed the inside job. Now... It's just for mid knowledge, which is sitting around for us to do. And the Kuhn. So we're going to the Viscount's personal keep so we can proceed with the main quest. There was a lot more quests during the first the first act. But makes sense. Because it was a lot of introductory things. And now we can see what the Viscount wants. Good luck getting in, one of them says. I've been trying all day. All right, private, private chat. It is apparently not enough that the Kunari define my political life. They must also infect what I hold personal. It is my son, Seamus. The life you saved, he would now squander by converting to the Kun. He has left for the Kunari compound. It's pronounced Kuhn. Please, Sarah Hawk. Convince Seamus to come home. You go pronounce it. You gotta pronounce it, right? You know. It's the Kuhn, actually. Um this is a very predictable follow-up. This is a very predictable that Seamus would convert to the Kuhn. Like it just makes a lot of sense that that would happen. The Arishark says nothing good about Kirkwall, yet he accepts conversions. I cannot understand him. Maker knows I've tried, but he landed with, what, a few hundred men? Add up the deaths and defections, and the Arishok must need to bolster his ranks. I'm sure my son is quite the symbolic prize. The investigate option's kind of funny sometimes, because a lot of the time, if you exhaust or get pre previous knowledge, you know things already but your character goes this is the first i'm hearing of this and you're like oh they accept humans and obviously we actually know that they do with the with the qn converts with talus but that is also a dlc thing that you can do later um and it probably wouldn't have been out it wouldn't have been out at this time so this is like learning information at a different point than if we were just playing only the main game did anyone else see him leaving for the compound? He made no secret of it. I'm sure he intended it as another of his statements about closer relations. Your example inspired him. I might agree, but now is not the time. These matters are... delicate. He's politically dangerous, you mean? The office must remain strong, Sir Arhawk. There's also the matter of, like, I think when we were talking to the Arashok, he was saying how in terms of the conversions that they're like um fine with people coming to their their side because the opposite is like a weakness he is of age the decision seems rightly his i want to let him find his way but in my position 
He's taken a great deal of inspiration from you. I want to allow his idealism, but not blindly. At best, my opponents will claim that my office is now in Canari hands. At worst, I lose my son. I do like that he holds his son at a higher uh, priority than his position, but also that he's, it's, it's like almost a hand in hand thing. He's your child. How fast can he be? Mm -hmm. Who knows? He might actually listen to you. No one else has dealt as closely with the Kunari. I hope you will see that we can be accepting and still be a proud citizen of Kirkwall. I wish we could all see that. Okay. Go to the Kunari compound to see if Seamus went voluntarily. Can we take Isabella? Or will she leave? <laughs> I assume she will probably leave. Um, let's see. What are we? What are we rocking with here? Appears to be everywhere at once. Lightning quick series of backstabs to each opponent's small area. Considering the amount of people that we constantly go up against, I'll be fine with that. Fanris. And we will give you more of this. Magic resistance. Further attunes to his tattoos. Flares with dark energy. Lashing foes with a blast of spiritual force. And being protected more effectively. Let's go for deflect. Well, we'll go to the docks and we will see if Isabella joins. If not, she will leave and then we will bring someone else. It's a good thing that the um, gather your party thing is right outside, isn't it? Just in case. And we'll bring... Um... Why am I here? The fuck? Oh. Oh. I'm now being attacked by the coterie? Still? Okay. Do you mind leaving me alone? I'm trying to do my job at the docks. Okay. Y'all had enough. Can I go now, please? Want to place bets on who sent them? Anti Kunari group, anti Viscount, or Seamus himself? Um, Seamus isn't the type. Let's go. Okay. This is a scripted encounter on the way to the compound. Sure. Lovely. And then we spawn right outside, and then Isabella, are you coming? Hey, I think I knew that man back in Antiva. Bye! They couldn't even be bothered to have her, like, just run away. You know what she should do? Like, throw down a little puff of smoke, and then you just watch her, like... <laughs> That's her activating stealth flawlessly by just going pink. I think that her backstory about how she came over here and this like relic thing and her shipwreck story is connected to the Kunari. There's no other reason for her being here and to not want to engage with them. They definitely are aware of each other in some sense. So that's my, that's the only reason I can think of. If she doesn't want to hang around the Canari, she's got beef with them. She's done some bad shit with them. All are forbidden, except you. We have not brought Aveline in here before, Sir, so. Hope the Arashok wasn't planning on keeping the Viscount's son. 
Uh, I mean, we'll see. Hello again. Oh, Hawk. I'm here about the Viscount's son. Are you? In four years, I have made no threat. And fanatics have lined up to hate us simply because we exist. But despite lies and fear, Baz still beg me to let them come to the Kuhn. They hunger for purpose. The son has made a choice. You will not deny him that. Because mm, this is the thing, like, he accepts those because he's like, well, time to come and be strong. And this thing saying an obvious political maneuver, it's really not. Because they would accept, they accept many into the, into the Kuhn. And this guy years ago already wanted this to happen. He wanted to go and hang out with the Canary. So. It's very interesting that like, um, I catch myself in a situation where it's it's very complex. Like the the Canari and the Qun in general, and their sort of presence here and everything that's going on, it's very very complex. I find myself either subjected to their brainwashing, or I do view their practices as valid in their own way. I mean, they're a whole other culture and civilization, and like, as long as it's in a in a setting where they're not like forcing indoctrination or kidnapping people and converting them, which I think does happen. <laughs> um, there are people that do join willingly. It's just, it's messy. It's messy. Um, like with the whole thing with Talus and the list is like when she was talking about all of the people that were actually innocents on that list that can get caught up, I did sympathize. And I think that's why we didn't push it further. And that could have negative implications because it's obviously talking about spies and things like that. But it's like, I can also admit, and I think this is intentional in the game anyway, the Canari are really hard to understand, <laughs> you know, and they know that. And in the game, they know that and they tell you that they know that. And your character talks to the Canari in a way where you don't understand them. It's uh, it's it's tough as tough as nails, where uh, for being in a situation like this. And then most of the time that we're talking to the Arashok, it's kind of pushing him negatively. We're definitely not best friends, but I'm trying to see how you can navigate it in a um, more of a peaceful way, I suppose. So while I'm trying to have like as much of an understanding and handle over Dragon Age lore and culture as possible as we go through, and there are a lot of things in this mega mind of mine, um, there are still things that I can be like, hey, I don't really have a full understanding of this sometimes. So occasionally when we're engaging on anything that's kind of canary, it's like I'm trying my best, but I feel like there are a couple of missteps that we make in regards to their dealings. So just just stating that. Converting the Viscount's son? His opposition will have a field day. Um? The enemy of your enemy should be your friend? I don't fear the whole of them together. And it is not my role to reject the free choice of Vidathari. The son responded to his own demand of the Kuhn. He is neither my slave nor my prisoner. He is not even here. He went to his father. Ask the Viscount why he would send you and the letter both. Huh. That probably could have been mentioned earlier. They are meeting at the Chantry. A last pointless appeal, I assume. I doubt he'd involve the Chantry in such a personal matter. No, but we know who would. Mother Patrice. Mm -hmm. If she has threatened someone under my command again... There is only one response. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. I just can't think of it right now. Her intent is obvious, and what the Kuhn demands is clear. This is the last insult I intend to suffer. Resolve this, 
or her hiding place will be reduced to rubble. I will be watching, Hawk. Seamus was lured to the Chantry. Go there at night to check on him. There is a little bit of tension in this group. Can't imagine why. Can't imagine why. A bit tense at the moment. Just a little bit tense. Bringing Fenris every other time to the Canari hasn't really had any sort of yield. It was just that one time where he decided to throw out a special talent and now he's like, eh, I don't care anymore. To the Chantry at night. Okay, to the Chantry. This goddamn mother. Okay, that doesn't look very good. Uh, he's just sleeping. Sarah Hawk, look at what you have done. Oh, God. To pounce upon the Viscount's son, a repentant convert in the Chantry itself. A crime with no excuse. Your Kunari masters will finally answer. This is the second body that I walk in on and be like, Ah, you've done this. Why have we done this so close together? Oh, this woman is infuriatingly annoying. God. It's a good thing that there's no video cameras here because I am going to have to kill you all now and this will be sweet, sweet satisfaction. God, this is so annoying. You've been a headache, but to outright kill someone, that's new for you. He deliberately denied the Maker. How many would follow if he went unpunished? And yet, even this sympathizer will inspire vengeance when his brutal murder is exposed. Great plan. Until people start dying in a war with the Canari. To die untested would be the real crime. People need the opportunity to defend faith, starting with you. Earn your reward in this life and next. These heretics must die. Okay. Sorry, sorry guys, would you mind waiting? I've got a book to read. The History of the Chantry Chapter 3 is waiting. Um, stupid. Look, if I get a choice between the Canari and the Chantry, in, we all know what the Chantry is supposed to represent. Not my cup of tea. Well, hope you guys are feeling good about your next life. Of course there are reinforcements. Righteous mob. She really brought the mob. She she really brought the mob. Just people. Just just everyday people. Can we kill her, please? Do you see your grace? Traitors attacking the very core of the Chantry. They defile with every step. There is death in every corner, young mother. It is as you predicted. All too well. Oh, God. You really gonna fall for this manipulation? She's onto you, Patrice. Quick, lie harder. Don't you spout your Kunari filth. This is a hand of the divine. I have ears, Mother Patrice. The Maker would have me use them. Viscount Dumas' son is dead. Killed here in your name. I'm sure my name won't like that. Patrice? Seamus Dumas was a Canari convert. He came here to repent and was murdered. It's a ruse, Your Grace. Seamus was killed to set people against the Kunari. This is no longer a matter of heathens squatting in the docks. 
People are leaving us to join them. And we must pray for them like any other. They deny the Maker. And you diminish him, even as you claim his side. Andraste did not volunteer for the flame. Sirrah Hawk, you act on behalf of the Viscount? The young mother has erred in her judgment. A court will decide her fate. The Chantry respects the law, and so must she. She's Grand Cleric? Grand Cleric? <laughs> you really didn't think that was going to work, huh? Ah! Uh -huh. I mean, fucking satisfaction. I'm fine with that outcome. Yeah, <laughs> right between the fucking eyes. Let's go. And we give him a nod and say... We protect those of the Kune. We do not abandon our own. She ain't even looking. There you go. Please. Send for Viscount Dumas. <laughs> she just... <laughs> she... <laughs> oh, man. Yes, she will go to court. Literally gets assassinated. Good night, everyone. My son. Murdered in the heart of the Chantry by those who held a sacred trust. What hope for this city when we fail our own so completely? So let's just think about this. The Canari, they just, they just chilling, right? Uh, as at for the moment, they're just chilling. Who's getting murdered? Who's tearing our city apart? Who's actually dying in Kirkwall? Is uh, is anyone dying at the hands of the Kunari? Or are they dying at the hands of potentially blood mages and uh, serial killers <laughs> and people in the Chantry? Like, you know? And then any Tal of Ashoth, they're all out on the Wounded Coast. They're not even in Kirkwall. The Canari threat remains as the Canari seek to have not really done anything except bring a few people over to their side and the people tend to choose to go over there of their own free will. Like, I don't know, unless I'm missing something big here, um, the Canari don't seem so bad. This is not over, Excellency. The city needs a leader. It does. And I am no longer that person. Well, that's... Please. Hawk. Leave me. That silent crying was so weird. Um, I'll, I'll be back in a moment. There's a book that I've got to get. So I'll probably walk back in there in a second. So um, I'm going to go back. <gasps> no. I need the book. Guys, I need the book. Surely I can... Um, <laughs> surely I can go back in there, right? At some point. Isabella wishes to talk about something in private. Interesting that an Isabella questline would come up after we've been doing a bunch of stuff for the Kune. So, everything is great now. Kunari and the Chantry and a dead son will just fade from memory. About that, uh, Hawk, there's something I need to tell you at your house very, very soon. Do I even want to know, Isabella? No, don't answer. <laughs> Having Isabella here for her to say that is a neat touch. Let's do that. Um, and then hopefully the Chantry will open up again and I can go and get that book. Because I should have just picked it up and then read it. To catch a thief. This is important. Don't interrupt with your selfish prattle. Get off your high horse. I have problems too. 
<laughs> what drink should I order and who's the father? Oh, you little... Are there any good seats left? In my own house? Hawk, the Arashok is sheltering two fugitives who have converted to the Kuhn. He must be convinced to release them. He's already feared because of Patrice. If people start to think he can ignore the law, I need your help so this doesn't get out of hand. I'm going to die. There. Got your attention. Real problem. I heard Arashok and die. What's this about? Remember the relic? The one Castillon is going to kill me over? A man called Wall-Eyed Sam has it. If you help me get it, Castillon won't kill me. Please. I'm trying to keep the entire city from rioting against the Canari. Well, maybe it's connected. What? I'm just saying maybe it will help. It's important to someone, right? Now you start being responsible? Shit. Yeah. Isabella stole something from the Canary. <laughs> Gamlin just standing there being like, ah, yep. Mm, guys, I'm still mourning Leandra's death over here. It's so sad. And, oh, this guest bedroom is so nice and much better than my little hovel. I hope you don't mind me mourning here for a bit longer while I just stand in the hallway listening to your private talks. Uh, let us have a look. This seems like an issue for you and your guards. Quite a few of them. Sending a full patrol would just increase tension. But you're right. I am the captain. It's my responsibility. But... I suspect the Viscount was hoping I would bring this to you. Then he should have come himself. Perhaps. But it's understandable that he's not at his best. I'd like to help him if I can. Why has this come up so suddenly, Isabella? Sam's been talking to black market dealers all over Lowtown. It didn't take me long to get wind of it. What frustrates me is that he's held onto the relic so long. Who was involved in this exchange? Tivinta Mages. I doubt they'll look kindly on us interrupting. Bring a sword. Or twelve. To Vinter Mages. Tell me about Sam. Sam used to run with Martin. Remember him? Martin says Sam's a bit of a magpie, picking up things that don't belong to him. Not a trustworthy sort. When Martin gave up raiding, Sam became a drifter. You're sure this is the relic you're after? I've had my ear to the ground for a while. There was a description of the book. It's the right one. Book? I thought you didn't know what the relic was. Well, I... I, I know it's a book, but that's all I know. It's written in a foreign tongue. Honestly, what does it matter? It'll save me from Castillon, so I need it. Canary book. Canary book. Isn't it odd that someone would run to the Canary? They're elves accused of murder. Maybe they feel they've nothing to lose by fleeing the alienage. And if their conversion is genuine? I don't know. But how many more will try if I allow this? Justice must be respected. You're expecting trouble? After what happened to the Viscount's son? Yes. I'm hoping the Canary aren't looking for a fight. I'm hoping they'll be reasonable. But we'll see. The relic issue has to be resolved before we take on the Canary. You trust her this much? Probably not. I wouldn't. They won't wait at the compound forever, Hawk. I really do hope this helps, because if it doesn't... You think I like having this thing on my mind? Come on. The exchange is happening tonight in a low-town foundry. Well, all right then. Are you sure about this? The champion was asked to go to the Canari. I suppose you think he planned the entire thing. Considering what it led to. Come on, Seeker. I'm not going to sell Hawk short, but nobody could have foreseen the way that that would go down. Or do you still think I'm lying to protect my friend? There are elements of your story that make sense. And you couldn't have known about them otherwise. Well, that's a relief. But that doesn't mean you're telling me everything. I want this story to be told. 
You're not the first to get it all wrong. I think I owe Hawk that much. Nice, okay. Alright, accompany Isabella to the Lost End Foundry to intercept the relic. Off we go then. Isabella. Back. Oops. Too low town. Let's go and get this relic book that we don't know anything else about that might be connected to the canary, apparently. I told you already. I saw her. Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you? The fuck? What? What's Gamlin doing? Here's a few silver. Buy yourself some food. And new shoes. <gasps> That's real silver, that is. I'm your man, through and through. Tell you everything I know. That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. His hands were all bloody like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him. And I think he said, help. She got him to his feet and he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway, they left and that's all I saw. What did the man look like? He was a man. He had hair and a nose. And nice clothes. But they were all stained from the blood. Ah. <sighs> Wait, what is happening here? Wait, what the fuck? This is... Is this talking... This is talking about the... Uh, this is talking about Quentin. Why are we here? Why is Gamlin here? Why is this the objective? What the hell? Why is this... What? Huh? What's happening? Why are we doing this? It's not too late. She could still be alive. But she's dead. Why would anyone the, take her? Wait. It doesn't make sense. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. You could follow it. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. I know what's going on here, but this is so weird. What the fuck? What the fuck? You know what that was? Because when we had doing that quest, we went to Darktown to speak to Dupuy instead, and he took us there with blood magic. But then if you go here, Gamlin is still ch chasing the trail and asking around instead, and then you talk to that. Why is that encounter even still allowed to be done? Why is that encounter, like, even allowed to be done? Because <laughs> at first I'm like, oh yeah, this boy maybe has some information on something. We have to, like, talk to him. And then I'm like, why the hell is Gamlin around doing it? It's really weird. Let me reload this. Because the thing that confused me the most... Um, <laughs> The part that confuses me the most is it's got the plot marker. So we came to Lowtown, so I'm like, oh, cool. This is part of the quest. And then it's just like, huh? You're like slowly piecing this together, just being like, what the fuck? Um, so for some reason, the All That Remains plotline is weirdly bugged and is open there. Because we went through Dupuy. I'm holding on to my 10 silvers, mate. <laughs> Okay. I was just getting like slowly more and more confused being like why is there a dialogue option referring to mother helping and how does this have to what does this have to do with the canary uh, situation and a relic very weird.
The Dog Lords. Okay. Let's just uh, pretend that that very immersion breaking uh, event did not take place with Gamelin. Ooh, okay. How many slaves died in these foundries, I wonder? Oh, what the fuck? Excuse me? Excuse me? Hello? Karashok, Ashad, Sten? Is this a joke? Is this... Is this our Sten? The fuck? If the Arashok asks why we killed his men, we'll say it was an accident. Uh, yes. About that. The relic belongs to the Kunari, and there's a small chance they want it back. Is Sten a title? Not a name, then? Or there's just another Kunari with the same name? God damn it, Isabella. Do the Kunari look like the sharing type to you? Of course they want it back. I've always known what the relic is. I just didn't want to worry you. You're the picture of kindness, Ravani. The relic is a Kunari text handwritten by that philosopher of theirs. Uh, Keslin, Kuzland, whatever his name is. Koslin? That's the one. The founder of their religion, the most revered being in their history. That text would be sacred beyond measure. I stole it from them. They followed me here to reclaim it, and it's why they're still in Kirkwall. Oh my god. Marches without it. <laughs> oh, that's why there's like, there's no second boat. There's no, there's no pickup happening. They're literally here for the book and the book alone. Isabella. God damn. That is a big no-no. Also, I love that she name dropped the Kuzlins as one of the, like a Kunari rider. So stupid. And I like that Fenris is here because he's knowledgeable on the subject to point it out. That's why we brought him along. Um, so we were suspicious on Isabella with her disappearing axe. And now it makes a lot of sense. And we literally have probably one of the most valuable artifacts to the Kunari ever. I thought you and the Kunari were caught in a storm. The storm was only half of it. I also had the Kunari dreadnought stuck to my behind like a bad rash, spitting fire and thunder at me. I'm a bit confused. I was a bit sh like thrown for a loop seeing like a Kunari by the name of Sten, um, who we have now murdered, and it feels like they wouldn't have a. Canari named Sten in if it wasn't intentional. Did we did we just kill Sten from Dragon Age Origins <laughs> in a fight in the Lowtown streets? Is that how he goes out? He he joins up with these guys and then he just gets killed like that. Maybe giving it back would solve Aveline's problem. That mess is over a couple of elves. I need it to save my own skin. Why would anyone besides the Kunari want this relic? The Tevinta Imperium have been at war with the Kunari for centuries. If the Tevintas get the relic, it will strike a blow to Kunari morale. That's probably what the mages want. How did you steal the relic from the Kunari? The Arashok never had it. The Orlesians did. They had plans to return it to the Kunari. I simply had to waylay the Orlesian convoy before it met up with the Arashok and his men. Getting the relic was easy. Getting away from the Canari was the hard part. God damn. Sounds like the Canari take their reading very seriously. 
Is there anything the Canari don't take seriously? Look, the book's right in this building, and I'm not letting it slip away again. It's the only thing that'll get Castillon off my back. Please, tell me you'll give the relic to me. It's gotta go back to the Canari, Isabella. It's gotta go back to the Canari. The artifact belongs to the Kunari, and you'll let them leave with it. Don't you understand? The relic is the only thing that will keep Castillon from feeding me to the sharks. I can't believe you're... Oh! <sighs> Fine. You're right. I'll return the relic. It'll go straight to the Kunari once we get it. Come on. We've no time to waste. I'll literally just kill Castillon for you, my pirate queen. Where is the relic? I, uh, I have it. The Tome of Coastland will not fall into Deventer hands. Blood and spite. <laughs> A toss, Canary! He's getting away. Isabella! Oh, God. And now we're left to deal with the Deventer Majors and... Oh, okay. It's just a title. It's just a title. It just it just confused me. It just like you see the name Sten associated with a canary and you go <gasps> just for a second, you know? So never mind. Oh, do we have to take them all out? Why can't we all get along here? Except for the Tevinter Mages. We can kill those, but do we have to kill the Canari? We're not the ones who stole your book. My other... My my lady friend did that one, unfortunately. It's like, if she's so worried about Castillon, it's like, just, I'll I'll deal with that problem when it arises. Just, just stick with us, and then we'll, um... Well, you won't die. And then we can return the book to the Canari, okay? It's a weird thing for her to be so hung up about potentially being killed by someone because she seems very capable. Well, guys, that was fun. Oh, what the hell? Um, stay still and try not to make any loud noises. What the fuck? Oh! oh. <laughs> What the, what the fuck? What the fuck? Can you go st Oh, there's a disarming switch here. I thought that there was another... There was... Obviously, I was going for this disarming switch over the other side. Um... <laughs> who's putting this shit in here? For 43 silvers and a bunch of crap. That's funny. Fuck. Okay. Someone's left a surprise here for us. Okay, well, it went off too late. We already went past it. What the hell? So strange. So very strange. Well, Isabella's gone off after the guy. He didn't sound like he had the book. He sounded very unsure. He's like, ah, yeah, I've got it. I'm like, mm, I don't... I don't really think you have it. Hang on, there's another door. There's another door down here. We need this book to go to the Canary because it's literally the whole reason that they're here. God, that's so ridiculous. Isabella, why are you gonna do this to me? Gotta put, gotta put me in this position. Here lies Sten, another Sten. Not the Sten you know, but a different Sten. All right, let us give chase. From Isabella. Dear, oh my God. Dear Hawk, I have the relic and I am gone. I've lost too much over this blighted thing to let it go again. I know it would be noble to return the relic to the Cunari, but that would require a better soul than I possess. For what it's worth, I'm sorry I lied to you again, Isabella. Once a thief, always a th Come on. Aveline will be waiting at the Canary. <sighs> we still have to deal with that mess. Isabella just literally has run away and left the party and taken the relic with her. 
Well, he did have the relic then. He wasn't lying. <sighs> I sure know how to pick him. I sure know how to pick him. So far, I've picked, um, for romance options, both of the women who have, um, who have, uh, taken something and ran. Um, weirdly poetic with my real life. That's happened to me before. <laughs> oh, sure know how to pick them. When life imitates art, I need a uh, I need better taste in um I need better taste in women. Wrong. I'll never change now. <laughs> Look, we like what we like. What's going on down here? Oh, it's just a Templar. I cannot gather my party. Are we in a scripted scenario? Can I have someone else join me for this? Maybe like Aveline or something? Um, go to Aveline. Go with Aveline to the Canary compound. She expects trouble. So finish any pressing business first. Ooh, I think this is the end of that then. This is like a point of no return, like the deep roads thing. All right. Aveline was already here then. Automatically. Hello. Oh, there you are. Don't forget, as soon as you're finished wrapping up your business, we'll need to go to the Canary compound together. All right. I don't, th I think that, you know, let's go. I'd wrap up any other business before we go. Yeah. It's already a mess and could get worse. Damn. Okay. So we finished the, the first act and we're already moving into the closing of the second. Let's go. I request an audience with the Arashok. shock. He will allow it, but not in this number. I will only bring my friend here and a small compliment of my guard. Is that few enough? It is. Enter. Uh, I can't bring Fenris or Varric. Interesting. Oh, he mad. Shenaton. Greetings, Arashok. We come regarding the elven fugitives that took refuge here. Irrelevant. I would speak to Hark about the relics stolen from my grasp. Ooh, we can throw the name out. Um, look. She may be a lying, stealing, untrustworthy, backstabbing... No good swindler of a pirate queen, but she is my lying, backstabbing, no good swindling pirate queen. So I'll find it. I'll get it. I'm not going to give her up, though. There's, there's good in her. And all of that good that's in her, that little smidge, is for me. If you give me time, I'll get it back for you. It is much too late for that. An issue for another time. We're here for the fugitives. The elves are now Vidathari. They have chosen to submit to the Kuhn. They will be protected. Yeah, the, the elves to the Arashok. This important. Probably as close as I can get without touching skin. This important. The book, however, the book is the thing. It's so funny how I'm in a position where I can't even um hmm. have they truly converted or are they simply using you as a shield they have chosen and so have i you have not hidden the abuses of your zealots or the corruption of this city you will understand why i must do this let us look at your dangerous criminals oh speak vidathari who did you murder and why a city guard forced himself on our sister. We reported him, or tried to, but they did nothing about it, no matter what we said. So my brothers and I paid him a visit. That doesn't excuse murder. Interesting, so she knows about it? Are these elves telling the truth? There have been rumors. I will investigate, but they still took the law into their own hands. Sometimes that is necessary. Like you avenge the Viscount's son. 
It was not right then, and it's not right now. I hear, I hear what's being said here. I hear what's being said here, but uh, I don't know, man. Call it, call it Konari brainwashing if you want to call it that. They got a goddamn point. Especially when it's like what the elves are talking about. The shit that they deal with on the alienage. And we know because we've gone through the female um, city elf origin and it's disgusting. And those things have consequences consequences and repercussions. And the city guard and the, and the, the rich upper class of like Kirkwall or Denerim or wherever the hell you are. Like they're going to protect those people. They're not going to protect the elven people in the alienage. It's so reminiscent uh and sort of like um i don't have the right big word to use but it's so um connected to real life in terms of how that works so it's like you can see why they do what they do here and then the canary like they did what must be done sometimes you got to do justice because justice won't work in the way that you need it to like fucking patrice man can't believe she got away with how much she did for so long. I would have done the same thing in their shoes. Hawk, that's not helping. Sorry. Their actions are mere symptoms. Your society is the disease. They have chosen. The Vidathari will submit to the Kune and find a path your way has denied them. You can't just decide that. You must hand them over. Tell me, Hawk, what would you do in my place? Oh, oh man. We're about to get big old Aveline rivalry here, let me tell you. I'm pissing off all my friends right now. The correct course of action is they have done murder of, uh, you know, these people. The correct course of action is arresting them, whether or not it was the right thing for them to do or them getting their own justice because it, nothing was being done about it. They have unfortunately committed murder. They'd make poor Canari without the horns. I see. That's literally not what I said. I leave without the relic, and I cannot stay and remain blind to this dysfunction. There is only one solution. Oh, fuck. Arishok, there is no need for. Vinek Kathas. Oh, it's fucking wartime. Oh, it's fucking Canary wartime. Not here. Two open. Go, go. Hawk. Arashok. That's that's what my hawk says as as he leaves. <laughs> He screams his name and, and does the fist at him. I will not forget this, Arashok! Can you hear it? The Canari must be spreading out. They're attacking the city. <sighs> Why? What could they possibly hope to accomplish? Everything is going big doo-doo time. Everything's going to shit now, boys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, let's talk about it because, like, I it, oh, it makes complete sense. They're going to war over their one of their most uh, precious and sacred belongings. It makes sense. We're keeping it from them. Isabella's keeping it from them, um, but Isabella is lumped in with us and our society and how it's a disease and it's dysfunctional and how nothing works in the way that they see it. This was inevitable. This was a this was a ticking time bomb. Um, it makes me just really curious to see if there are any sort of ways or differing outcomes that you can have this go. Like, what would you say if you said, I wouldn't give them up to the Arashok? Like, how would that go, you know? And it's hard because we're kind of almost 
pushed into a little bit of a corner here where something that I've brought up a couple of times in terms of dealing with the arrow shock is there's not a lot of uh, options that are in a more of a positive light for the most part. They're kind of all opposed or not understanding the arrow shock in the canary's position or being very neutral. And I have a feeling that's because certain events like probably what we're experiencing right now almost have to happen so we kind of have to engage with events in a particular way where this has to happen that's kind of the vibe that i'm getting like it feels like that um so this was inevitable and we just have to figure out how to get our way out of it in a semi semi understandable way we'll see how we'll see how we how we go somehow i don't think the arishal cares what happens after this you may be right whatever it is we need to do something quickly but we'll need some help this is why they like take care of your business after this I thought I was going to lose some points with um, Aveline there. We've lost Bethany and we've lost Isabella. Um, well, we're going to take Varric and we're going to take Fenris and we'll take Aveline. I guess that'll be our thing. Three warriors and a charming rogue walk into a Canary War. Let me guess. Our friends from Parvalan decided to take over after all. The Canari are assaulting the city, and fast. The Arashok planned this for who knows how long. We should head to the keep to rally my guardsmen. Whatever happens, be careful. They didn't want this, first and foremost. They didn't want to attack the city. They didn't want to go to war. They were like, this place sucks and you guys all suck, but we're here. They, they're only here for one thing. They wanted the book. And if they got the book, they'd fuck off. They'd go. They'd be like, thanks for the book. We're going to kill the thief now and we're going to leave. Um, <laughs> unless you were able to return the book to them and be like, ah, yeah, the person that stole it. Yeah, I'll deal with that. Don't worry. But, you know. It's not like the Arashok was literally waiting to just kill everyone. Like that's you can you can tell that that was not the the first course of action. Alas, their hand was now forced, and we are now at war with the with the Canari, which is a shame. It didn't have to go this way. Ah oh, yes, the moldy rag doll, how good. Going swimmingly. Where are we? We're in Low Town. Okay. I'm surprised there are people even just standing around. <laughs> oh shit! What is he doing here? What the fuck is Alistair doing here? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I saw Grey Warden first and was like, what the fuck are Grey Wardens doing here? Dude, what? No, no, no. 
you fall! What's he doing? Why does he have a mace? Why do you have a mace? What is that? What? <laughs> Why? What the fuck? He's he's just got a mace. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Like this, I would absolutely shit myself live on camera if this ever happened. Imagine if the game was able, because you import your own save data. Imagine it imports your character from Dragon Age Origins, and then you, and then Alistair and his Grey Warden companion that's right here is your character from the first game. I know that that wouldn't really make sense if, say, for example, we made the choice that we made in the Witch Hunt DLC, which is our Grey Warden goes off with, with Morrigan in the mirror. But, like, imagine the, um, how cool, like, your character's just there <laughs> from the previous game as just, like, in the background. I feel like that would have just been, like, the coolest shit ever. I can't believe Alistair is here. His response, was he just shopping? Was he just shopping in Kirkwall? Was he just close by? Because that's a pretty quick response time. What the fuck? Ooh, on the list of things I thought might happen today, a Kunari attack would have been near the bottom. Thank you for your help. I don't think we've met. My name is Alistair. I'd like nothing better than to stay and help, but unfortunately the mission we're on can't be delayed. A fucking cameo appearance, dude. Alistair cameo. They're on a mission, so they're just they're just conveniently passing through. Alistair's shopping for something. Um, who's the other Grey Warden? Who could we? Who who's a warrior Grey Warden that we could put under there that we know of? That is even still there. It just must be another random one, because it's a warrior, so it can't be Nathaniel. Under that, under that helmet. There's something more important than an invasion. Well, you wouldn't think so, right? I'm afraid there are larger things afoot. I can't say more than that. I wish I could, but I swore on my pinky to keep the warden's secrets. <laughs> I thought your order was more serious. Hm. I get that a lot. That's so fun. What the fuck? We could use your help defending the city. Even if I didn't need to go, Grey Wardens aren't supposed to involve themselves in wars like this. Mm. We did that in Ferelden, after all. The Order was not impressed, let me tell you. Yeah, maybe this might help. It belongs to an old friend, but I'm willing to bet he'd like you to have it. What the fuck? What did he just give me from the previous game? Is this something from the previous game? Make a watch over you, my friend. And over us all. That's such a big old, like, in-your-face cameo. What did I just get? The Sacred Heart. Yo, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, what? You can have that. What the hell? A hero of the recent Fifth Blight, the Grey Warden Alistair is credited alongside the hero of Ferelden with slaying the Archdemon and sparing Thetis, the Ravages of the Darkspawn. Rumor has it that he is an heir to the Ferelden throne, but that he turned it down in deference to Queen Honora, daughter of the traitorous Terran Lugain. <laughs> he just runs on screen and is just attacking people. Um, unbelievable behavior. Um, <laughs> what the fuck, man? <sighs> and then just gives us, hey, this belonged to my friend. You can have it, person I've just met. See you later. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oy. Oy, oy. It's like I thought the Grey Wardens were supposed to be more serious. Oh, hello, looter. This dude just looting corpses. Having a good time? Oh, 
Oh, my favorite merchants. They're all dead. What am I supposed to sell all my bullshit to now? Alright. Oh, God. Hello. Just a, just a small army. Oh! They've got a bunch of elven supporters. Like, all of the alienage are gonna join up with the Kunari at this point? God damn. Okay. Right, we're heading off to High Town. This feels like um This feels like in, like almost like end of the game stuff. Like the war on Kirkwall is happening with the Canari, like this feels like tensions are at like their highest point that I'd be really interested to see what, if anything, comes after this. Like it would have to be tracking down and getting the relic from Isabella in some capacity, right? Okay, well now that's just too far. Parshera, quit your struggling, woman. Tepa, boss! Then the Aeroshock failed to take you captive. Unfortunate. I hope that wasn't going to be what I think that was going to be in a very typical uh, raiding and pillaging of a city scenario, because that's fucking awful. Well, Varric just immediately got massacred. You tried your best, buddy. His health just got deleted. Oh, and I know why. I know why. I know why. Oh, shit. The fuck's that? I am Knight Commander Meredith. Oh! Finally! I know you. Yeah, you suck. The name Hawk has turned up in my reports many times. Too many. It's good that we found you, Knight Commander. The Canari are... It's obvious what they're doing. The Kunari are taking people to the keep and may already be in control. We will need to deal with them. <laughs> He's like, sir, come with me. We're walking over this way now. <clears throat> but then the women, they're just dragging them into alleyways. Not good. I love that uh, Meredith shows up as if we're supposed to instantly like recognize her or know who she is. She's like, da -da -da -da. 
And it's like looking and then the camera's holding on her. I'm like, who the fuck is this? Am I supposed to know this person? And then it makes sense because I've been waiting to see this person for the whole game because they just talk about her so much, building up her character and here she is. Why would they be gathering hostages? They're going to take everyone of import and put them in the same place. Those that agree to convert, live. Those that don't. Charming. Mm. You're on your own. Always happy to help in a life-threatening crisis? Good. Your skills will be sorely needed. Head to the keep and I will see if I can find more of my men. These creatures will pay for this outrage. Damn. Knight Commander Meredith Stannard is a native of Kirkwall, an orphan who joins the Templar Order when quite young. She worked her way up the ranks with sheer determination. She is credited with removing the precious Viscount Perrin Threnhold from his position after he attempted to have the Templars expelled from the city in the 21st year of the Dragon Age. The acting Knight Commander was arrested and executed, and Meredith led a group of Templars into the heart of the keep to capture Threnhold. He was tried and imprisoned three days later by Gla Grand Cleric. Every time I see Grand Cleric, I... Gland Cleric. I don't know. It's so hard. Grand Cleric, Elthina, and died from poisoning two years later. Meredith was subsequently elevated to her current position. Many say the Templars fought only to preserve their position in Kirkwall, not to oppose Thronehold's tyranny. Others believe Meredith has always held the moral high ground, even if not all approve of her methods. For now, she enjoys the gla Grand Cleric's full support and has free reign in Kirkwall as the commander of its most powerful military force. Damn. Okay. Meet Meredith at the Viscount's Keep. Crazy. Okay. Um, yes. Let's loot the mages. It was such a crazy move that she did. <laughs> so over the top. Um, let me have a look, because I think... We've picked up some cool stuff that you could do with some of this, my boy. Critical damage, physical damage, more mana and stamina. Or 44 health, 117 attack. Ooh, 85 DPS though. All this stuff I want to sell, but I can't. <laughs> but I can't, because everyone's dead. <laughs> everyone's dead. Well, we can we can do we can do some upgrades with these rings that we've found. Oh, you really need an upgrade on this one. Much of this place can we explore? Meredith walked off in a very. Oh yeah, she walked off in here. She walked off that way. I guess she can just teleport. We'll deal with this. Of course, we have to go around the long way. Okay. God, look at this full-on battle. We got the oh, the Carter thugs are getting involved, but we also have to kill the Carter thugs as well. So everyone's in a war with everyone. That's right. You heard me.
whole city is at war and we're at war with the city. <laughs> like, ah, the Carter versus the Canari and us versus both of them. Taylor's oldest time. Looting everything takes forever. An elixir of heroism. All right, we're at the front. Varric is, uh, Varric's going through it today. <laughs> oh, you're still, yeah. Oh, my guy died. Oops. I should, I should have healed. As soon as I noticed that, um, the Sarabas was still alive, I was like, eh, I fucked up. We've got this, guys. Keep going. You've got this. Hopefully we won't get killed by the Cerebus. God, how much health do you want? This is what happens when you don't have Anders in your party. Ouch. This is wearing on me. Yeah, of course you're going to disappear. My favorite, my favorite part of this is uh, <laughs> the canary going, this goes on too long. And I'm like, you're telling me, bud. You are telling me. I'm the one attacking with just two people because I can't resurrect anyone right now. Ugh. Kind of a bad idea to try and tank that. Bad idea to try and tank that. God damn, we did it! <laughs> Sheesh. Many thanks, my friend. Looks like you fared better than the other mages. The others? Surely they cannot all be. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. I'm like, what the fuck? What were you thinking, child? I told you to let them take me. We had to do something. We couldn't just... Could you imagine, right, is we go through this whole thing, we just rock up into this courtyard and just we rock up and we just find out that Bethany came here with everyone to help and then she just was killed. <laughs> like that would be the most outrageous thing ever. It's a Hawk family reunion. What's left of it? First Enchanter Orsino. You survive. Oh. 
Your relief overwhelms me, Knight Commander. There is no time for talk. We must strike back before it's too late. And who will lead us into this battle? You? I will fight to defend this city as I have always done. To control it, you mean? I won't have our lives tossed to the flames to feed your vanity. That is one of the coolest staffs I've ever seen. Man's got the, like, a Hydra staff. Three-headed dragon type shit. That is incredible. Um, it feels like we're meeting, like, big players in the Kirkwall um, free marches space. And, like, they're getting shown to us so late in the game. Like, this first Enchanter Orsino and Meredith clearly have, like, beef. And this is, like, the first time we're, like, meeting them. <laughs> and it's just like, uh, hey, guys, have I stepped into the some something larger than myself here? All of a sudden, finally. You know? Look at this. We I'm picking sides too. We follow Meredith. Yeah. I will lead us, or we follow Orsino. Um Is this how I become the champion of Kirkwall? I will lead us. I will take the ring into Mordor. I won't have you two at each other's throats. I'm in charge. You! You're not even of this city. Neither am I. Yet I don't hear you complaining about us both fighting to defend our home. Very well, then. But what do you plan? Be quick about it. Why am I not surprised? Tell us, then. What is our course of action? That took zero persuasion. She was like, all right, I'm convinced. Straight up. She's like, yep, all right, you can have it, man. That's, that's fine. I take it running for the hills isn't an option? Or we could find out what they're up to. That works, too. An excellent choice. Let's move quickly. Eyebrows go down. Eyebrows go back up again. When we stop being funny. Lady gave herself a, a crown, by the way. A lady gave herself a crown. Queen of the Templars. So extra. We got the Queen of the Templars with her crown, and we've got the three-headed Hydra staff, first enchanter. They know how to dress. Style points, baby. Not to mention the outfits are incredible. Charge! There seem to be a great many Konari at the Keep's entrance. Then they've already taken it over. Clearly they've been planning this for some time. Perhaps we should have been planning ourselves. I don't see any of my guardsmen. This is the only way in. We must assault them now before their numbers grow. Are you mad? They have hostages. We need a distraction. Decide quickly. We have no time. Can I put a mage in my party? That's my question. I need healing. Um, let's go for the distraction. Let's hear what you have in mind, Orsino. We'll need to get you inside and catch up as soon as we can. And just how will we do this? Have confidence, Knight Commander. Oh my god, he's about to just like solo them. Okay. Give me a sh give me a fancy show, let's go. Oh my god. You will not conquer this city without a fight! Cerebos! Finish Cotus! Oh my god, magic fight! Magic fight! <laughs> no no magic fight after all. We'll just slip right in here unnoticed. Perfect. Thank you, Orsino, for your fiery introduction. He'd be putting that staff to good use. Nice. I would like to gather my party. <laughs> Need a mage in here. Okay, 
First enchanter Orsino is an elf from the Free Marches city of Ansberg who was brought to the gallows when he was very young. Some claim he became the youngest first enchanter to hold the position in Kirkwall, not by his own merit, but because nobody else wanted it. He would call that cynicism. Somebody, someone must advocate for the mages, after all. Even if the job is thankless, the alternative would be for Kirkwall's mages to have no advocate whatsoever. For the past five years, Orsino has had constant, sometimes very public, disputes with Knight Commander Meredith. The common belief amongst the populace is that he is a troublemaker, possibly a dangerous one. And so is Meredith. So we've got two... This is very interesting that we're in a situation where we are seeing... Um, we are definitely seeing two sides of a coin here uh, with these people and almost forced to make a choice between two not so great options maybe like you've got a bit of a ow the fuck the seal of kirkwall <laughs> um ow ah! who set these traps um you've got the you know the the mages um and you've got the templars and they both seem kind of maybe shitty by reputation and you have to choose between them in this perfect mage uh, versus Templar story. I like that the the Viscount's Keep does have uh, some cool defenses. Oh my god. Fenris. I thought you were stronger than this. Fenris, you should... Ah, Varric! Ooh, our, our health is just getting deleted. Oh my god. Guys, I thought you were... Uh, I thought you were stronger than this. Oh my god. That's right, guys. Oh, well, I'll be fine. I've got this. This is pro this is fine. Oh, that's probably why we're dying. That's probably why we're dying. Hang on, I'll be there in a second. You've got this, Evelyn. Here, there we go. Let me help you out with my big swinging sword. How's that? Is that better? Oh, my aura of pain was not even active. God damn, when Sten does this thing, I'm like, you're already taking too long to die as it is, mate. Don't make yourself harder to kill. It's exhausting. What? God, it's taken so long for me to be able to devour. God damn. Took long enough, didn't it? Okay. Sheesh. You're doing good, everybody. This is what happens when you don't put a mage in your party and you're not allowed to gather your party anymore. Maybe you should have just left Avalanche at home. God, I've been having so many cutscenes that I've been really just busting. <laughs> For the bathroom. Uh, Varric, Aveline, Fenris, um, watch the fort. I'm going to go and take a pee around the corner where no one's looking. Alright, I'm back from the bathroom. Got a snack in there. They have Tim Tam dispensers in the bathroom. Isn't that great? Okay. Into the main section. Ooh. Here is your Viscount. Oh, no way! You dare? You are starting a war. Oh, <laughs> the way that the crown rolled on the My floor. Doth Rossi, you feed and feed and complain only when your meal is interrupted. You do not look up. You do not see that the grass is bare. All you leave in your wake is misery. You are blind. I will make you see. Oh, that line is so but good. We have guests. Sinead on, Hawk. I expected you. 
But for all your might, you are no different from these bars. You do not see. His axe looks like a toy. It looks like weirdly like, like a plastic toy for some reason. I guess someone just kicked his head off the rug because we just walked over it. There's no head there anymore. The way he just like throws the head and then the, the crown rolls. Oh my God. I'm losing. I'm playing another game at the moment. Jedi Survivor, right? And there are decapitations. And they are then censored, and then the bodies disappear immediately when you have control over your character again. And that stuff annoys me, because it's like, it's just such, it's like, it's like, argh, just show it. I Something I really appreciate about Dragon Age, when you're in like combat or cutscenes and stuff, is it, it shows that stuff, and it's like the, the shock value of it is very like fitting for like what we're experiencing. Like it, it makes a lot of sense and I really love it. I'm just like, the Canari would do that. It's not just like there just to shock you and be like, look at this gore. It's great. Maybe the ex like shooting enemies and them exploding into a bunch of limbs is a bit excessive, but <laughs> God damn. We can still work this out. Perhaps. Prove yourself, Basra, or kneel with your brethren. Ooh, we're doing provings? All right. Trial by combat. The Kunari Honor Guard. Okay. Dude, this is absolutely crazy. Parshera. You are Basilit Ahn after all. Few in this city command such respect. So tell me, Hawk. You know I am denied Parvalin until the Tome of Kozloon is found. How would you see this conflict resolved without it? Oh? Oh? I can answer that. I'm sure you'll find it mostly undamaged. Thanks, babe. The tone. I knew she'd had my back. It took me a while to get back, what with all the fighting everywhere. You know how it is. Mmm. It's because I had an effect on her. Heroic acts of sacrifice? What will people say? This is your damned influence, Hawk. I was halfway to Ostwick before I knew I had to turn round. It's pathetic. I won the heart of the Pirate Queen. Let's go. The relic is reclaimed. I am now free to return to Parvalin with the thief. What? Oh, no, no, no. If anyone kicks her ass, it's me. She stole the Tome of Kothloon. She must return with us. I told you. I, I did tell you. I, like Earlier on, I'm like, if we just gave him the book, They'd be like, cool, we'll take the book and we'll take the faith and we'll be good. There's there's not much I understand about the Canari, but that I do understand. <laughs> um, look, mate, I'm so I'm here's the thing, it's gotta get a little bit complicated, right? So, Arashok, you have you ever felt the touch of a woman? Once you felt the touch of a woman, specifically the one standing next to me, unfortunately. I can't just let you take her. Sounds like you have something very specific in mind. She will submit to the Kuhn and the Ben Hasroff. More than that, I will not say. Look, if, if people join voluntarily, I guess she committed a crime. Just a little bit of a crime. Oh, a little bit of a crime. Oh, look, we returned the book, mate. Take her hand or something, you know, and, and I'll, we'll deal with the rest. You have your relic. She stays with us. I'm sure he'll take that well. Brevaney, you might want to move a bit this way. Then you leave me no choice. I challenge you, Hawk. You and I will battle to the death with her as the prize. No. If you're going to duel anyone, duel me. You are not Basili Dan. You are unworthy. Damn. 
<clears throat> what better way to win a girl's heart than a fight to the death? <laughs> Don't you have what you came for? That goes against, no, yeah, that goes so against their, their cue. And she cannot walk away from this insult. I will take her. If you object, duty demands that we fight. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, actual second thought, mate. Uh... All right. Let's dance. Maravas! So shall it be. Oh, this is so, like, Mandalorian. I love it. Okay, Arashok. I will win my pirate queen's honor. 1v1. Let's go against Arashok. Oh, he's got two. Oh, my God. He's got two. Oh my god. Dead or alive, the two no go work. I'll make this a proper 1v1. I'll put my dog away. Let's go, Arashok. <laughs> Dude, some of his lines are just so cold. They're so well done. I love it. It was like, you are blind, and we will make you see. Ow. Don't charge me. Ow. Catch me if you can, bitch! I'm running over this way. <laughs> Don't do damage to me. Ah! He's coming. Get him! Oh god. Oh god! Oh! I just got cleaved. I just got death blowed. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh. He did not like... He did not like that I ran. <laughs> he did not like that I ran. He's like, get your fucking butt over here. Get your butt over here. You can't run away from me. Okay. All right, guys. Um, one moment. One uno momento. Um, uno momento. Um, more defense, more armor, more health regenerate. Um, might, be, might be pretty good there. Put that on. Um, belt. Health and fire resistance. I don't think fire resistance is going to come in handy. Uh, plus three strength dex, I think, is good. I'm not sure there's much else I can really do in this one. Um, maybe it would have helped if I put some goddamn runes on this uh, sword of mine. That's all right. I've got this. All right, let's dance. Maravas, so shall it be. Okay. This will be easy. <laughs> okay, let's um... Ah, go again! Da -da -da -da. I'll deal with this. Um, is that going to work? Oh, use Devour. The stun is definitely a good choice if you just stun and then you wait for Mighty Blow to come back and then if you don't die, that's a good thing. The fact that it's very easy for me to die, probably quite concerning. I've got Aura of Pain constantly doing damage to me too, don't I? Oh. 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 Aura of Pain. I might need to turn off Aura of Pain. Ah, okay. Give me a second. Wait for my health potion to come back. Dog, bite his ass. Bite his ass, boy. Get his ass. Get his goddamn ass. Get his ass. Quick. There you go. Get his ass. Come on, Logan. Get him. Ah, I'm healing. There we go. I'm back in the fight. Oh, never mind. I'm out of the fight. A poor start. Is this all you want? Yes, it is, unfortunately. 
This is all I am. I'm trying my best. Ow. I just got up. Ah, I'm gonna die. Woo! Running, running, and 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 running, running. Do I have any other potions? Do I have like um no. I don't have my like regeneration potions or anything. Okay. Oh yep. Oh yep. Oh yep. Hang on, the arrow shock healed too, you bitch! How dare you! Only I can heal! I'm out of stamina! I'm almost dead! Oh, devour! Devour! Press the devour button! Oh! I don't think I had enough stamina to devour. <laughs> oh, he has defeated me in combat. Oh, going right into the charge is great. All right, turn off aura of pain immediately. Ow, what? I just, I just got thrown. Okay. Oh, I'm getting just yeeted across the room. Oh my, stop. I, I can't even stand up and fight. This is this attempt is even worse. It is preparation. Okay, bud. Get him, dog. Take pot shots. It's all we've got. Oh. I physically cannot even. The, the character does not stand up fast enough to avoid the charge. So that's fucking bullshit. Oh, you just got devoured and stunned, you punk. Get out! Ah, what's with the weird delay on getting on getting striked? Oh my god. Oh, come on. Play by the rules. I'm not even there when he attacks. Play by the rules, man. I'm playing by the rules. I'm running away. Some of the attacks do miss, which is good. Yeah, dog. Bite his ass. Bite his ass. This is all that I got left. Keep biting his ass. Ooh, dog can, like, prevent his charge. Dog can prevent the charge from taking place. Get him, 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 dog. I've decided that me and the dog are one person. It counts for the one-on-one. -on -one. Fuck your potions. Only I'm allowed to do that. I'm the champion of Kirkwall. <laughs> this is the exciting Dragon Age combat we're all desperate to see. A poor start. Is this all you want? Oh! Put me down, put me down, put me down, put me down, put me down! Oh, what? Oh. Oh, I survived! Look at that! Peak survival. Peak survival. I survived the death blow. I survived the fucking death blow. It's unbelievable. In an unprecedented move, he survives! Oh my god, stop trying to death blow me. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. 
You know how hard it is to try and do like uh, specific movements on a keyboard? Like I'm trying to like dodge him effectively on a fucking keyboard. This is so bad. Can you get stunned, will ya? Oh, stop, dude. That's a bit excessive, mate. What do you think you are, the main character? Let me potion, not you. Oh, it's unbelievable. My stamina regen is exceptional. Bad as ass. Yeah, this is going to take 70 years. five instead of four my dog is gone i have removed my dog from this scenario my dog will return i got four health potions left oh get stunned will you get stunned when i ask you to i'm uh don't put baby in a corner my dog returns. Dog! To my side! Ah, I love that the devourer does stun though. That is very good. Ah, that is ass dog! Oh, another potion! You are unbelievable! Does he just potion forever? Am I a... Oh, am I able to win here? Oh my god, the screams! Actually, you don't need a health potion. It's okay. Actually, you do need a health potion. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I'm being charged. You would just attack me facing the other direction. You're a douchebag. It's facing the other way. Dog, get him! I'm waiting for my health potion to come back. Must finish this. And we haven't even got him to half health. This is great. We're just gonna do this. Endlessly. This is going well. Okay, I think what happens what happens there is if he's doing a death blow attack. Oh, stop! If he's doing a death blow attack, if doesn't matter where you're stood. It doesn't matter where- yeah, you're like locked into that. That's wild. Oh, I fucking pressed the- I pressed the get rid of dog again. I pressed get rid of dog again. I can't move! I can't move! What we will expect when we return. Holy shit! I went to devour and I got rid of my dog. Guys, it's okay. We've got him to half health. That is a fucking jewel for the ages. Here we go. This is what I did in Knights of the Old Republic when we were in episode four and we we're in the goddamn arena and there was that stupid Mandalorian guy just throwing bombs at me. <laughs> or I was throwing bombs at him. One of those. <laughs> We just ran around an arena endlessly until he died. And here it is again in Dragon Age. Get him, boy. <laughs> Get him, boy. Get him, boy. <laughs> Get him. Oh my god, stop doing this one. Dog, get him! <laughs> oh god. Oh, I'm just locked into getting sliced to pieces. I'm almost out of health potions. I regret not buying all of these health potions now! 
Okay. Okay. Go down. Okay. I pressed four and it didn't even do the move. Can you do the move when I ask you to do the move, please? I can't, I cannot afford you to not do the moves that I ask you to do on the quick bar. I have one potion left. I'm still waiting for Devour to come back. This is upsetting. When does Devour come back? I can't see the full countdown yet. Is it back? Nope. Oh! Is Devour back yet? There it is. You're still showing as stunned! What the fuck? You are still showing as stunned! Arashok's breaking the rules. Okay, all I have now is Devour. And I have to wait two whole minutes for it to come back. Can you stop death blowing me? Why the, what the fuck? There's a delay in the stun where it's not actually stunning. God damn. Bite his ass dog. Yes. Eventually he'll get tired, right? Eventually he'll get tired! Eventually he'll get sleepy! Will the arrow shot get EP? Let's find out. Yeah, you, yeah, you would try and death blow me. Any stamina potions I got left? I got some. Some in my repertoire. What are the charges? We're having a meal. A succulent Chinese meal. Oh shit. That was the wrong time for me to do that attack. It used my stamina and I didn't even get the move off. Oh shit. Oh no, don't approach him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah! You are beaten. <laughs> Admit it. One day, we shall return. If that didn't, doesn't win the heart of Isabella, I don't know what will. Because that was a duel and a half. For the ages. They respect the jewel. Respect the 1v1. Plus dog. Is it over? Yes, ma'am. The city has been saved! Champion of Kirkwall! Champion of Kirkwall! Oh! Oh! I thought she was about to hit me with the sword. <laughs> I was like, she looks pissed off. I thought I was about to get like struck down for some reason. Has a new champion. champion of Kirkwall. Let's go. Isabella, we're going to my chambers tonight. Let's go. <laughs> you seem confused, Seeker. I was waiting for this. The champion killed the Arashok in single combat. It just sounds so... Romantic. Oh, she likes me. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're developing a little crush. Future romance. Don't be ridiculous. The champion just seems very heroic in your tale. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Future romance. If Let's go. <laughs> telling the truth. If you are, then what happened at the gallows may be far different than we assumed. I need to hear it. Let's say I tell you. Then what? 
Is the Chantry out for revenge? Is that what this is all about? No, it's not that. Then what about me? If what I tell you isn't what you want to hear, will you still let me go? I will let you go. Well, now we're talking. None of this is what I thought it would be. Tell me what really happened. Champion of Kirkwall. <laughs> the reward. <laughs> A fine title. Every noble at the keep owed the champion their lives. He wasn't just a hero. He was now the most important person in the city. Oh, that's... Except for Knight Commander Meredith, of course. With the Viscount dead, she stepped in to keep order. That's who they are on the loading screen. Things quickly got out of hand. No, not on the loading screen. The main menu. The more she squeezed the mages, the more they resisted. The more they resisted, the tighter she squeezed. Ugh. Yeah. Three years of that, it all came crashing down. Oh, another three years. Yeah, the main, main menu of Dragon Age 2, press any key to continue, is those two silhouettes. Damn, that makes so much sense now. I know you fear us. Knight Commander Meredith uses that fear to take control of your city. She opposes every effort to replace Viscount Dumar. And you have seen the chaos of her reign. Will you allow it? Return to your homes. This farce is over. Wait! Perhaps there are some who might disagree with you, Knight Commander. Do not hide behind the champion. He has no role in this. <laughs> I look exactly the same as I did seven years ago with just less facial hair. How cool would it be if your character visibly aged? Like, just get more wrinkly or something. I don't know. I know that some people don't age too dramatically in that much, but it's, it's been almost a decade, you know? Give me some greys or, or something like that. Maybe if your character has hair, he just balds. <laughs> he goes, he gets hair thins and he's balding. Amazingly accurate. Um... God damn. So we've got another three year time jump and then Meredith and what's his face? Um, Oregano are doing a great job together, battling it out. And we are the most important person in the city. Cassandra is developing a crush on the champion of Kurt Paul because it's also romantic. That's amazing. Um, very quick little jump as well. We don't get to see any of the instant sort of things that happen after the event but it makes sense that you'd want to like move it on so it allows for things to be rebuilt and uh see how things are moving in the city very cool let's have a look sounds like you two have quite the little argument going this is not an argument it's treason i think the champion's views would be appreciated or do you fear what he has to say I fear nothing. My only interest here is in keeping order and protecting the innocent. Bro, I don't really... Well, here's the thing. I don't really know Ossie, you know, that well. And all I've heard of you is bad. And also you're a bit of an ass. So, like, I have, like, an Orsino bias, but I also don't really know him. So... And, and then the game's asking me to take sides. This is like when in Dragon Age Origins, you rock up and they're like you need to influence the who becomes king and i'm like i don't know these people <laughs> what are you trying to do here cause a rebellion the people of this city need to know what is really happening and then what they tear down the gallows with pitchforks and torches that would be better it cannot be worse your refusal to listen to reason leaves me no choice what i refuse to listen to are excuses Perhaps you are ill-fit to your position if you cannot understand this. <sighs> um... Threatening each other isn't going to help matters. And what should I do instead? Allow this to continue? Does Meredith have a point? I don't know. 
Your measures have become more extreme over the last three years. And you could do better? How well did you guard your own mother? <sighs> did she not die at a blood mage's hand? Bruh. That's cold. That, uh, <laughs> that is, uh, yeah. Why don't you just stab me in the back while you're at it? Cold corpses speak louder than abstract freedoms, do they not? As long as that's true, Kirkwall needs its Templars more than it needs a new ruler. And when will that end? When will you stop seeing evil in every corner? When it's no longer there. Bruh. I mean, how will you know that it's no longer there? The first enchanter accused you of trying to take control of the city. The city? I am trying to keep order until there is a ruler capable of succeeding where Dumar failed. And if not, will the Templars rule Kirkwall forever? We will not stand idle while the city burns around us. The Templar Order exists to guard the Chantry and Circle. I suggest you let the nobility rule the city. I do not need you or anyone to tell me what my duty is, mage. <laughs> I will rule, Viscount Mapo. Let the city decide. This is democracy manifest. If Kirkwall wants Meredith to step down, they'll tell her to. Are you mad? They fear her. Everyone fears her. That is true. She. Uh, <clears throat> Do I take a side or not? I feel like I need like a. Uh, all I've got is a codex entry for Orsino, really. And then Meredith, I've got her being an ass. I'm more inclined to go with uh, with Orsino. But I, I will admit that I don't feel fully informed on the situation. But I also don't want to f be a fence sitter. Sorry to break it to you, Meredith, but I think you're wrong. Face the truth, Knight Commander. You are done. That is for me to decide. No one else. Okay. That seems a bit dictatory. Ooh. My, my. Such a terrible commotion. This mage incites rebellion, Your Grace. I am dealing with the matter. Ah, Orsino. So frustrated. Do you think this is truly wise? I... No, Your Grace. Of course not. Young men. Would you show the first enchanter back to the circle? Gently, if you please. Your Grace! He should be clapped in irons! Made an example of! That's enough, Meredith. This demeans us all. Surely you can see that. Go back to the gallows and calm down, like a good girl. Oh. Oh, go to your room, Missy. You have my thanks for stepping in, champion. If you had not... Short of putting those two in cells, I doubt anything will keep them from each other. Sadly true. Gentle people of Kirkwall, return to your homes, I implore you. This will not be solved today. Damn. Okay. And now I must attend to the gallows. They will see reason if the Maker wills it. Thank you again, champion. Gauntlets of the champion. So what's gonna what's going on now? You know? I've become the champion of Kirkwall. That's it. I've achieved it. Um and then Damn. Hmm. The Canary are gone. The, the war on Kirkwall has resolved three years later. I wonder what we're going to have story-wise. I guess it's this Orsino and Meredith political debate now. <clears throat> Champion, an honor unique to the free marchers. Other terms of reverence suffer the stains of their holders, the lingering baggage of office and entitlement. But champion is not an appointment that can be sought. It cannot be owned or willed, and the process by which it is bestowed is not argued through policy or guile. It is earned with blood and sweat and leadership in times of great turmoil. 
always worthy as their deeds are of true importance. A champion is greeted not by debate, but by nods of reverence. The title was most recently granted in Tangervale, 82nd year of the Blessed Age, on the resolution of the bloody expansion of Navarra. Their king, emboldened by the taking of Perendale and the quick yielding of Hasmal, thought the remainder of the free marches an easy claim. He who became the champion, Cade Arval of Rivain, did what Orlais had not. He stopped a nation in its tracks. There was blood and barter, but Tantavale is still free against all odds. There is the contradiction of the honor. Champion is not itself a sign of approval. He or she can be respected or feared. Their coming dreaded as much as desired. All that is common is that they have an effect and lives are changed. Kirkwall now adds to this history of the title, a first for the city on this 34th year of the Dragon Age. The Canari are repelled by means respected or reviled, and it remains to be seen what follows for this Maplehawk, the champion of Kirkwall. So we're now in the 37th year of the Dragon Age. Cool. Sartareth. Canari are a people of metaphors, and for them words have many meanings. Sartareth, the name given by the Arashok to his axe, means that which upholds. It is the word for foundation, defender, and enforcer all at once. That's really cool. Okay, let's have a look and see if there's any other lore things that have popped up while we are here. For us to read. I need to go back to the Chantry, because there was that goddamn lore book, and now I feel like because we've gone into a whole other uh, chapter, a whole other part of the, the story, um, that that book might not be there. We'll have to check the Chantry to see if it's there. If not, um, maybe I'll just look up what the... Um, <laughs> maybe I'll just have to look up what it is. Um, all right, we've got our people here. Um, I'm going to head into the Chantry. Um, just to see if that law book is there, Codex Entry. We have companion, well, we've got companion quests. Um, visiting Gamlin, who needs rescuing, and the last straw is the main quest. Nathaniel Howe's sister is here, Delilah Howe. So you found your brother. I did. Wasn't expecting that. Oh. I assume there was a time when you and he were friends. With Bartrand? No. Just brothers. Occasionally he wasn't insufferable. And yet you remained at his side. Too bad he didn't do the same. If Delilah Howe's around, does that mean Nathaniel's around? Another Dragon Age Origins cameo. That'd be interesting. Bianca, my crossbow. Say hello, Bianca. <laughs> but why Bianca? He must have named her after someone. Nope. Mirabel was taken. The way <laughs> you fondle your weapon is disturbing. Hey, I'm a perfect gentleman. In public. What was it? Was it the history of Kirkwall, Chapter 5? I think it was the history of Kirkwall, Chapter 5. Um, I'll see if I have a previous save file. If not, I'll have to get the lore entry. Okay, so I've reloaded a previous save uh, during this part of the game, and it's not there, which means it must appear like when you're in that fight or something, and I can't be bothered do jumping through the hoops to get back to that one specific fight where the book is in this room. So we're, I've, I've got the entry, and it was the, it's the history of the Chantry, Chapter 3, not the history of Kirkwall. So we've got history of the Chantry, Chapter 3, and we're going to read that here. On the betrayal of Andraste, it is said that at the Battle of the Valerian Fields, Mathrath stood and looked out over his armies. He had conquered the southern reaches of the greatest empire the world had ever known, and built splintered barbarian clans into a force to be feared. With pride in his heart, he turned to congratulate his men and found that they had turned from him. Matharath fell to the evil of jealousy. After all that he had done, his wife was the one to receive all the glory. He saw his wife's power and influence, and tired of his place as second husband, below the Maker. His heart swelled with fury. If he had conquered just to have his wife wrested, wrested from him by a forgotten god and a legion of faith-hungry rabble, 
then perhaps this war was not worth the trouble. Here, history and the chant of light come apart. History tells us that Mathrath looked north into the central Imperium and saw nothing but more war against a rapidly regrouping army, and he despaired. The chant of light holds that Mathrath chafed with jealousy of the Maker and jealousy of the glory that Andraste received, although it was he who led the armies. Mathrath travelled to the Imperial capital of Minrathus to speak with the Archon Hesarian. There he offered up his wife to the Imperium in return for a truce that would end hostilities once and for all. The Archon, eager to put down the voice of the Prophet that stirred his own people against him, agreed. Matherath led Andraste into an ambush where she was captured by Imperial agents, putting an end to her exalted march. This is this is cool refresher because we've definitely read this stuff before in Dragon Age Origins because this is about like the lighting Andraste on fire stuff and Matherath going, ah, oh, shit. Um, so it's cool that we get a bit of a refresher. The more you read it, the more it sticks in your brain. Crowds of loyalists stood in the central square of Minrathus to watch Andraste's execution. By command of the Archon, she was burned at the stake in what the Imperium believed to be the most painful punishment imaginable. According to the Chantry, however, Andraste was instead purified and made whole by the flames, ascending to life at her maker's side. By all accounts, there was only silence where they expected screams. At the sight of the Prophet burning, the crowds were filled with a profound guilt, as if they had participated in a great blasphemy. So moving was the moment that the Archon himself drew his sword and thrust it into the Prophet's heart, ending her torment and leaving those assembled to consider the weight of what they had seen. Whereas the execution of Andraste was meant to be a symbol of defeat for the faith of the Maker, in truth, all it but sealed the fate of was the worship of the old gods and paved the way for the spread of the Maker's chant. There you go. That is chapter three. And with that one, we reload and we go back to where we actually were. Uh, in the next portion of the game, th another three years later. Oh, this is not the save. It auto saves when you enter here. That's fine. Never mind this. We will get back to where we were next time. So thank you so much for joining me for a another big action-packed episode. A lot of stuff happening with the Canari, learning about, you know, the tome, what actually went down, Isabella has returned because of our influence. That's that's right. Uh, we will chat to her and the rest of our companions next time and see what else Kirkwall has in store for us. So thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time.